this is the website you're going to want to go to. It's uh, minecraft.net slash download right here on the bottom multiplayer server. If you're running Windows, uh, this is for Windows, so we're going to go ahead and click on that. Uh, we're going to keep. It's going to download a 10 megabyte file. Go ahead and create a folder. Minecraft server. You can actually name it whatever you want. Minecraft server.exe file that you just opened into that folder. After it's there, you're going to run it. It's going to create some files. Now, it's not going to uh, complete, completely run and start up your server. As you can tell, it made these files and then all you're going to do is type in stop. It's done. Open up uh, this EULA and user license agreement. Change the equals false to equals true. Save it. And let's run it again. And now you can see all these other ones are opening up. What we're going to do here is type in uh, in the command prompt window. If you don't know how to get to this, you can hit the Windows key, hold it down, press R. It'll bring open this right here. You can type in CMD there. If you have Windows 8, hit the Windows key, CMD, enter, and it'll open it up for you. We're going to do an IP config. Look at the IPv4 address, and that's 192.168.1.6. If you're actually going to play this with people in your house, like a brother or sister, whatever the case may be, you have a friend over, you can really just do something like that if you're going to run a server. If you're going to run a server uh, with, with people joining down the street or you know your friends from school, what you're going to want to do is go to the website address whatismyip.com and there it will give you an address that address you're going to put you're going to put the IP address right here server IP you're gonna put that IP for what is my IP.com whatever that says you're gonna put it right here for my own personal sanity I'm not gonna put my IP address on YouTube but that's where it will go right there so the internal address and that's the one I'll use so uh, let's see here 192.168.1.6 now let's open up some Minecraft I think the biggest thing about Minecraft is where do I get the file to use to set up the server and then also how do I get other people to join the server those are the two biggest things um, we're gonna go to multiplayer we're going to add a server 192.168.1.6 done it's right here let's go ahead now I'm obviously joining the server that's created on my computer but um, if someone in the house were to set it up and I'm falling there we go I'm recording OBS and running the server and trying to play Minecraft it doesn't like me but obviously here is uh, the server world I created and if you don't believe me I can go ahead and go over here and it tells me players there's my name and uh, if I hit stop it shuts down so that's it guys it's super easy it, it's it's really easy the only two big questions when you're actually um, setting up your own server is how do I get people to connect after I've gotten the server set up and where do I get the server file so I've covered those two points in this video hopefully this will do some world of justice for you you don't watch some video that's 15 minutes long and people actually don't know what they're doing minecraft.net slash downloads download the exe file if your computer can handle it otherwise download the jar file once you downloaded that find out what your purpose is of setting up the server whether it's locally within your house or across the country if it's across the country, what is myip.com? Put that in the server properties file. Um, and you have to open this with Notepad, just so you guys know. Like you, you can click on that, open with more options. You can choose Notepad right here. I use Notepad plus plus just because it's downloaded and it's pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, default port 
or server IP. If it's internal, you'll do the IP config. If it's the external, outside your home, what is myip.com? So, if you have any questions, put a comment below. Send me a message, send me a tweet, whatever. I'm here to help. You'll get this done. It's easy. Until next time.